Invest in your community. Invest in volunteering at your community. Invest your life savings at your community. Drain your bank account, be it. If this is what it takes, do it. If it means that you do not buy the latest, latest S500 this year, don't. Take that extra money and give it to your Islamic institution, Islamic centers. Why? Because they are the first shield. But what kind of Islamic center? Islamic center open Thursday nights, Dua Kumail, 60 plus seniors, they get together, they read Dua Kumail, and then they drink some chai and they leave? No. An Islamic institution that's willing to talk to your kids, spend time with your kids, that's willing to talk about relevant issues, that's willing to have, you know, sport. because today, oh, you can't bring in kids every day, 365 days out of the year, and say, here's a one hour lecture, yalla. That's not gonna happen. We need sports festivals, we need conferences, we need trips, we need camps, we need gymnasiums. We need, all, we need people to network with one another. This guy is good at, for example, marketing. She's good at, for example, uh, something else. And they get together and they work on a project. They get to know each other. They become the resources of the community. Those people in front of me are the future of this community. This is the best investment, brothers and sisters. I kid you not. And don't just drop off your kids and, and then you go somewhere else and then you come back and you're sitting in the car and like, ah, who cares what happened? No, talk to them. See, if this majlis that you dropped them off to was beneficial, keep taking them. If it's not beneficial, take them somewhere else. Make sure that when they go to an Islamic institution, they're eager to sit and listen, not eager to run away and not listen. And that is the best investment. That is how we can protect our families.